beautiful day. It's a really good day to go driving. It's a season opener today. We're gonna go out with the family. Me and my brother are gonna join me and also my son-in-law, my family. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. So let's go, let's catch a lot of crabs. And after crabbing, we're gonna go try to catch some salmon. Let's do this. Like and subscribe. That's my brother with his kids. Hey, Tony. How's it Thanks going? Joining us. <laughs> <laughs> I got a cup in my hand. <laughs> Hi Good everybody, you, bro. Let's go catch some fish. Good to see you too. I got all kinds of gear here. It's um, okay. Just uh, let, let's. Shut up, Jacob. Hey, Tony. Я взял extra shoes today because after two days, it's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of Welcome to our channel, Hooked for Nice Me, I'm Sergi Babic here. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. So today, we were planning to go in the morning, but today is the opening day for crabbing and it was bad. I called my friend and he said there is not even a parking space available. So we decided uh, to wait a little bit to go in the afternoon. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna have some fun. Weather looking beautiful. The wind's gonna pick up a little bit, but it should be okay. So wish us luck. We are ready to set up our pots. I'm not gonna go over step by step how do I set up. In the previous videos I did explain what kind of a bait I use, what kind of a crab pot. Today we're gonna be using only collapsible crab pots. So I'm gonna start setting them up and just throwing them in the water. Look at this beautiful storage area. My really good friend Stan, uh, I'm gonna leave his link below. He made this uh, containers for me from my uh, so they don't run all over my boat uh, and not scratching it so this is beautiful I love it This rope gotta go on the corner, otherwise we're not gonna be able to close it. Yeah, just like that. And uh, yeah, a few legs of chicken thighs, and I got some some halibut head. I was gonna use it for soup, but hey, it was plenty of other we had plenty of other fish to use for soup so this is leftover we're gonna use it for bait yeah this stuff is really good for fish soup but we didn't get to eat it we had plenty of other fish heads to use so now we're gonna feed it to the crabs okay. yeah usually you think maybe crabs doesn't uh, doesn't eat really fresh meat? Yeah, you're wrong. One time I tried using spoiled uh, um, chicken meat in one crab pot. In the other one, I I did uh, bait it with the fresh. And when I pulled out, I had a lot of success with the bait catch uh, that has the fresh chicken, and the one that had spoiled chicken didn't do really good. So. Yeah, like human beings, crabs like to eat fresh too, right? Okay, this one ready to go. Let's let's grab some. Uh, let's grab this one right here and uh, give me give me a buoy that has the ring on the end. Hold this right here. Right here. Okay. 
just gonna clip this on. Oh man, you gotta have some strength to do to press this. Some strength to clip it. There we go. A lot of people crabbing today. Today's opening day. It's more crab pots and buoys in the water than crab itself. So are you ready? Are you ready? So pretty much let, uh, let, let Jacob have this. And as soon as I throw, you let it go because it's it just gonna tangled up. Okay, I'm rup, go. There we go. So I got it, I got this, I got this, I got this. 2023, our first spot in the water. Yeah, as you can see, this uh, crab pot start to fall apart a little bit, all rusty. They don't last more than three years. In the next video, I want to use McKay pots and I start falling in love with them. They're really good quality and they pretty much going to last you a lifetime. Yeah, look at my new nut. I learned this from uh, uh, Keith McKay. Keith McKay crab pots, I stopped by and he showed me a, one of this uh, loop nut. Easy. All you have to do is just use those uh, metal staples, crimp them down and that's it. It's fun. Are you ready?
Good morning everyone, Sergi Babic here, you're at Hooked for Nice Meal. So today, crabbing day number two, yesterday wasn't very successful. We tried a little bit of everything, we tried fishing for salmon, we caught two kings, but it's not a king season so we had to release them right away. And when it comes to crabbing, we only caught four keepers, it was a lot of boats, very choppy, very windy. So today we're going to go ahead and check our pot and see how we did today. All right, Matthew, good job. Good job. It's so much easier to maneuver with the smaller boat, especially when it's choppy. It's not easy with the big boat. There is a lot of things can go wrong. You can scratch your boat. You can run over a buoy, buoy can get tangled in your prop. So a smaller boat, it's so much easier to maneuver with it. So let's, let's grab it together. Yeah, just pull it up. And yeah, just a little bit more. And let's grab it together. Just like that. Okay. Look like we got some crabs. Let's see. How many keepers? That's a beautiful crab right there. Yeah, look at that. Nice and hard, beautiful color. That's a keeper right there. All of the legs intact. It's gonna be a nice meal. That's a keeper right there. And that's hard shell too. Crab number two. That's a little short and that's soft. That's a shorty and that's soft right there. Let's see what do we got right there. We got a fighter. You got a fighter. There we go. We got him. That's a beautiful crab right there. Looking good so far. It's nice and hard. Let's see if, yep, that's a keeper. Three, three keepers in the pot, that's not bad. Especially so many people crabbing today. Let's put the fre fresh meat. Okay. That's good to go. Drop it. Okay, so this is Ludmila. Ooh. There we go. Every time you have a keeper and you and you're keeping it, you you placing it in the cooler, you have to mark your catch record. If let's say game warden approach you and your crop record is not marked, you're gonna get a fine. Back to back, we lost it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Look at this big boy. That's a big boy right there. <laughs> and it's kind of soft. Yes. Yeah. It's big, 
Why are we gonna let him go? It's, yeah, it's soft. This is keeper, nice and hard. And it's a keeper. Okay, let's see. That looks. This is looks good. That's a keeper right there. Nice and hard. Number twelve. And what's wrong with this guy? Oh, his his foot got stuck. Oh, yo! I got a pinch. To. It's not bad. He didn't cut it all the way through my skin. But hey, that's what happens when you when you grab your crabs. Let's try to rescue this little guy. Or he's a big guy. There we go. Okay, he did cut my skin. That's a keeper right there. Hard, number 13. And that's the guy who caught me. Come on, boy, come on. I'm bleeding a little bit. I was trying to rescue him and I didn't see his claw. There we go. Since he bit me, he's fighting for his life. What do you think? We should let him go? Yeah. Yep. So pay back. Yeah. Favorite. See right there, too. he pinched me pretty good. You're gonna bite him. <sighs> hey, it's okay. I'm gonna do him a favor. I'm not gonna pay him back. One at least gotta go back. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Our crabbing coming to an end. It was a very successful day. We had so much fun. We got 20 crabs. That's a lot of cleaning and a lot of cooking to do. So see you guys in our kitchen. Robin, what a day today. It was sunny, still a little bit windy, a little bit choppy, but not as bad as yesterday. So we took out our smaller boat. It was easier to maneuver. We caught 20 crabs today. That's more than enough to make a nice meal. And today I want to make special meal. It's called Dungeness Crab in black pepper sauce. Let's go. We got two beautiful crabs here. You can see they're still alive. So we're gonna clean them. I'm gonna take the uh, caps off and just clean out from inside. In previous videos, I showed you how I clean crabs. So today I'm not gonna go over. I'm just gonna start cleaning. Clean the gills and this stuff. Take the face off. And we're gonna take the apron off. I'm gonna cut the crab in two leg portions, just like that. And Clyde gonna leave it separate. I'm gonna crack the shell so the sauce can go on the inside. Knuckle right here. Just like that. So 
it's going to be very fla flavorful. Same thing with the legs. Just like that. That's good enough. We're gonna be using iron wok and I just pour some canola oil and I'm gonna start with whole head of shallot, a whole head of garlic. One and a half tablespoon of black pepper and this is the main ingredient. Smells really good. We'll add half a stick of butter. There we go. Gonna add a little bit more oil about that much right there that's good enough yeah. this is good enough I'm gonna add three teaspoons of handashi two tablespoons of oyster sauce right there and we got two tablespoons of soy sauce right there and we're gonna add some mirin one tablespoon okay now we're gonna add our crabs I'll mix this really good, then I'll cover it with the lid and let it cook for about 10 minutes. Man, it smells good. I'm gonna add one cup of water with one tablespoon of cornstarch to thicken up our sauce and I'm gonna start stirring so our sauce is gonna be nice and thick and make sure to cover our crabs really good with this sauce I'm gonna add two scallions make this really good yeah, our sauce is getting thick our crabs are done, they're ready to be taken out. Mm. Smells so good. We're gonna let our sauce thicken up a little bit. Pour our sauce over the crabs. That looks good, wow. And last but not least, I can add a little bit of a cilantro. smells so good. I'm gonna dig in and I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try the, 
déclare. Yeah, look at this chunk of meat. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce. If you love black pepper, this is recipe for you. This is my first time making it and it turned out perfect. Oh, so good. That's all we got for you guys. Me and my family gonna enjoy this. I wanna thank you for watching our YouTube channel, Hooked for a Nice Meal. Please thumbs up, subscribe, and leave the comments below. See you guys in the next video.